This is just a quick video to show you some wrist strap options you can use when you are trying to find a wrist strap for your Canon EOS M. The neck strap is okay, but for the size of this camera, I'd prefer a wrist strap with this. So for now, I've gone ahead and taken off the neck strap and I left one of the uh, little mounting brackets here on this side. So, uh, you know, taking that one off, this one is still on. So this is where I'm going to attach the wrist strap. So I'm going to show you some, uh, actually some free options. I know that there are some uh, wrist straps you can buy online, but uh, I'll show you some free options here that uh, you might have just lying around at home. So let's get started. So I dug around my closet and found some old point and shoot cameras that I haven't used for a lot of years. So, um, and I wanted to see if any of these wrist straps would work. So, and surprisingly, um, I did find the one that works. So I'm going to go through the cameras I found and then show you, uh, uh, which one worked for me. So you may have some lying around that you could use too. So I just want to show you what I had in my closet. So the first camera I took out was the uh, PowerShot ST630. Um, I knew this one had a little wrist strap on it, but uh, when I tried it on the um, EOS M, I was not comfortable with this wrist strap because this connector part here is extremely thin. I mean, it works perfectly for this camera. It's such lightweight, you know, but I just wasn't confident uh, with the thickness of the, the the threads here so I had to go through some of the other cameras and see what else worked. So the next camera I looked at was my Canon PowerShot S50. This is actually a pretty heavy camera. It feels pretty close to the weight of the EOS M uh, when it has the 22 millimeter lens on it. Um, I actually really enjoyed this camera when it was new but uh, I don't really use it anymore. So. Uh, looking at the wrist strap here, this one actually is a little bit better. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, but I, when I you know feel this, I can tell that this section here is a, a lot thicker than on the other camera I just showed you. And I've actually used this wrist strap on the EOS M with no problem. Um, uh, I think that uh, this one was made for this weight of camera. So I'll show you the wrist strap that I found worked the best. So digging way back into my closet, I found my original Canon ELF that I had uh, just stored away in a box. This is the original APS film camera. Um, this is the original ELF and uh, you know, it's a pretty lightweight camera, but when I looked at the wrist strap, this one actually was the thickest of all of them that I tried. So. This is the wrist strap that I'm going to be using with the Canon EOS M from now on. I feel pretty confident with this wrist strap because this section here is the thickest of all the other wrist straps I've tried. So let's go ahead and put this on the EOS M and see what it looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on. Okay, here's my EOS M dangling from the wrist strap I took from my Canon ELF APS camera. It feels pretty good. I feel pretty confident with this particular wrist strap. I really like that it has this little slider here that can tighten around your wrist. But overall, I think this is a solution that works if you're looking for an inexpensive and maybe even free wrist strap. I'm not really too keen on this type of uh, connector here, this little swivel bracket here, but it's really the only choice that EOS M owners have. So hopefully you can find some kind of wrist strap from an old camera that you've got hidden in a closet somewhere and maybe uh, make use of it with your new EOS M. Now before I end this video, I just wanted to show you a comparison to the, of the three wrist straps that I tried uh, with my Canon EOS M. 
This first one is from the Canon PowerShot SD630. The second one right here in the middle is from my Canon PowerShot S50. And the third one is from the original Canon ELF APS camera, which was a film camera. Um, I think it was the first ELF camera that was uh, introduced. But uh, I think you can see the thicknesses of each one. You can clearly see, I think you can clearly see that this one from the um, uh, ELF uh, APS camera was the um, uh, the thickest. So this is the one I'm using with my EOS M. So I hope you found this video useful and uh, hopefully you have good luck finding a wrist strap for your EOS M.